This plot shows how the velocity of an object changes with time. This presentation will show you how to find the object's displacement between any two points in time when given a velocity versus time plot. Since the plot here shows velocity versus time, if I'm interested in finding the object's displacement, I must find an equation that contains d, v, and t. That equation is v average is delta d over delta t. This equation tells us that if you wanted to find out how far an object traveled from 0 to 6 seconds, you need to multiply the average velocity by the time traveled. The average velocity can be found by adding the initial and final velocities and dividing by 2. The average of 0 and 70, of course, is 35 meters per second. 35 meters per second times 6 seconds equals 210 meters, or about the distance of two football fields. A second method for finding the object's displacement that will give you the same results is to find the area under the plot during these two times. The shape under the plot between these two points forms a triangle. The area of a, the area of a triangle is one-half base times height. The base is six seconds. The height is 70 meters per second. When we substitute these numbers into the equation, once again, we get 210 meters. Here is the V versus T plot of an object that changed its velocity several times. If we want to find out how far the object traveled between 1 and 3 seconds, we could use D equals V average times T. Or we could find the area underneath the plot during that time. To find the area of the shape, we multiply the base times the height, which is 2 seconds, times 10 meters per second, which turns out to be 20 meters. What is the object's displacement between 6 and 8 seconds? To find the displacement, we could once again use d equals v average times t, or we could find the area of the trapezoid. I'm going to use d equals v average times t. The average of the initial and final velocity, which is 25 and 10, the average of 25 and 10, that's 35, divided by 2, 17.5. If we take that answer and multiply it by the change in time, during that interval, which is 2 seconds, we get the displacement of 35 meters. We would get the same result if we found the area of that blue trapezoid. Here is a speed versus time plot for four objects. Which object had the greatest displacement from 0 to 5 seconds? There are no numbers on this graph, so we cannot calculate the displacement for any of these objects. But we can, however, find the object with the greatest displacement by looking at the area underneath the plot for each object. The object with the greatest area underneath will be, uh, of course, object B. Let's find the object with the next greatest displacement. Look at all the other objects and find the one with the greatest area underneath the plot. The object with the second greatest displacement from be 0 to 5 seconds is object C. The object with the third greatest displacement from 10 to 5 from 0 to 5 seconds is uh, object A. The object with the fourth greatest displacement uh, from 0 to 5 seconds is object D which has the smallest area under the plot. When you have a V versus T plot and you want to find the change in displacement during a certain time interval, you can use one of two approaches. You can use the equation D is V average times T, or you could calculate the area under the plot during the time interval. This is the end of my presentation on finding the change in displacement using a V versus T plot.